Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. As always, uh, guys, on the table with us, we got Pebbles. Pebbles has missed about two grooming appointments and she's in really, really bad shape. She's got a lot of matting by her private area and we're going to focus this video on cleaning her up back here because it is so bad. And if we don't get to it quickly and today, she's gonna end up with a bad infection back here. So we're just gonna focus on, again, what that 10 blade does. Uh, if you watched our past video, the importance of a 10 blade, now you're going to see what a 10 blade does and uh, where it's so needed in this video. Let's jump into it and let's clean up pebbles. Okay, guys, so like I said, we're just going to focus on this area here. Uh, we just really just don't have the time to film the whole grooming. Uh, but again, we're just going to demonstrate that 10 blade. And I figured this is a good opportunity. Uh, she's a little female, so you can see how, how gross this is. This is all caked up urine and, and discharge that's just making its way onto the fur. And it's matting up. You could see this how where it's like right connected to her vulva guys look at how close that is okay so this is why i'm saying this 10 blade is what you're going to need and uh, this is very very tedious you know that one wrong move with the 10 blade here you know and i'm cutting her i know I, I, I don't want to cut her i don't want to nick her um, so again, guys, the, the next time I hear somebody say that dog grooming isn't necessary, well, take a look at this. What, what, what do we do then? Do we just let this go or do we take care of the problem, right? We take care of the problem. These dogs need us to do this. So let's get started, guys. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go straight for that area. I'm actually going to work up here by her butt first and just get her acclimated to what's about to go down. Okay, because she's probably not going to like it. Of course she's not going to like it. Look how matted she is. I can feel her flinching. Okay, so I'm just kind of, again, just getting her used to the fact that I'm working in this area. Right? I'm just going to stop real quick and give it a little break. Okay, um, and just see what I got. And, and also trying to work up my own nerve too, you know, like it just, everybody thinks that this is easy. This is not easy. You know, I'm trying to, you know, work up where my mind is going to go and deal with my own fear of nicking the dog. I don't want to nick her. I don't want to hurt her. Uh, it's what groomers go through all the time, right? So again, I'm just creating space. I'm trying to just, you know, do things slowly and, and get it done slowly so that I can do it safely. The more I can see, the better. So this is what I'm gonna do here, guys. I'm going to lift this leg and just get all of this out of the way. I'm, I'm doing the vulva part last because that's the part that I'm probably just most nervous about. So again, just getting her used to it. And look at that whole piece there that we just cut out. And, and it's disgusting. This is what causes infections, you know. I'm just going to move this over and try to get in here. And she's not liking it at all. But I'm going to come down here and grab this too. All 10 blade. We're using a 10 blade here, guys. Okay. So now that I've done that, it makes me feel a little bit more comfortable because now all I have to do is focus on this area. So do you see the, uh, the dynamic here, the, the, the approach? I don't want to go straight for it because it's very sensitive and I don't know how she's going to react. So by clearing out all the rest of this stuff, now I can just, you know, put my focus on this, okay? Where, uh, you know, I, and I, again, I need to put my own mind there, okay? Okay, so just going to take a second guys and I'm just going to spray this blade down a little bit. I want to disinfect it and I want to just wipe it. So just spraying the blade down. Just give me one second guys. Okay. Okay. So now we could focus on this. I'm doing short little strokes and trying to get it methodically. Okay, and I gotta put her leg down. We're gonna come across this side and create like a little V. 
Okay, so now what do we got left? What I showed you before, this is what we got left, that, that piece right there. Again, by doing it in, in, in parts, we could focus more on what we need to do. Okay, so we're gonna try to get that off in one shot without hurting her. And I'm, I'm trying to stay away from her little vulva there. There it is, got it. There it is, guys. A tiny little bit there, but you know what we're gonna do with that? We'll just, we'll just pull that off quickly in the tub rather than keep going at it with the blade. It's really attached to her. Let me see if I can grab it with the blade without hurting her. All right. Here we go. There it is, guys. Now it's nice and clean. You know, now we can clean up the area and you know, she doesn't have any infection or anything, but that's what's going to avoid the infection, okay? You let this go any further, I mean, she's just gonna have all kinds of skin problems in here. The urine is just gonna irritate all this skin. Um, we caught it just in time. She's, she missed about two groomings and we caught it just in time. Um, but again, guys, this is, this is what we gotta deal with as dog groomers. If you're facing this problem at home, address it, fix it. Either do it yourself or bring your dog to the dog groomer or a vet and get this done so you can avoid any future problems, you know, especially in a sensitive area like her little vulva. That, all of that bacteria and urine will make its way right into her vulva and cause a severe infection. And we, I've seen it. I've seen the worst of the worst. I've seen it where the vulva is so infected, it's, you know, it's the size of, you know, of a ping pong ball. Um, and, and, you know, now you're talking about, you know, antibiotics and all that other stuff, guys. So I hope this video helps you guys. I hope it's making sense. Just notice, check your dogs, and don't let, you know, groomings pass you by. Like, de definitely get your dogs on a regular schedule once a month, four to six weeks. You avoid this problem entirely, guys. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Give it up for Pebbles. She feels like a brand new dog. I'm so proud of her. I feel bad that she had to go through that, but they were having some problems at home and that's why she missed her groomings. But she's all set. We buzzed her down, we cleaned her up in the tub, and again, she feels like a brand new dog, guys. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.